It was a game of cat and mouse. The NYPD trying to nail down a Trump-loving graffiti artist tagging pro-Trump slogans at a Brooklyn subway station. So what do they do to catch the guy? They build a wall, of course, but this was no ordinary wall. Right behind it, officers were waiting. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Stefan Kim. There are a lot of things busy New Yorkers face on their way to and from work that they just don't want to deal with. And apparently this made the short list. I can see why people would not want to yeah. be faced with it on their morning commute. Hashtag love Trump. The pro-Trump graffiti generating numerous complaints at the R train station at Court Street in Brooklyn. For months, the MTA would cover it up, but it would just reappear. So the NYPD hatched a plan. They built a wall. Which would create an enclosure or a small room so that the officers could do an operation at this end of the station where this beam was. While the station has CCTV, it does not have any at this end of the station. Transit cops took turns waiting and lying behind this wall. They even drilled a hole right there in hopes of getting a clear view of the vandal in action. <laughs> I'm kind of speechless for a change. That's wild. The, the fact that the police have went to that extent. I think it's really um, innovative. Then cops say on Friday, day one of the operation. Sure enough, our man came back and put up again, hashtag love Trump on the beam. So they caught him live writing on the beam. 43-year-old Jamie Montemarano of Midwood, Brooklyn, was charged with criminal mischief and graffiti. And by the way, this pro-Trump graffiti you're looking at, that's a fresh tag, apparently scrawled by someone after that fake wall bust last week. So some might argue walls don't work. That guy really loves Trump.